Let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, two of our regular members are not present. One typically chairs this meeting, and in her absence, I'd entertain a motion to select Make the chair. Make a motion that uh, Martin serve as the chair for the meeting. Support. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, I'm happy to do it. Oh, here. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, and uh, the first item on the agenda is attendance. So noted. Great, thank you. And public comment. So this is the time for anybody to address the Design Review Board if you're not otherwise on the agenda with an opportunity to speak. So would anybody have general comment for the board? Okay, great. So we'll close public comment. The next item up is the re review and approval of the minutes for the May 3rd, 2023 meeting. It was uh, contained in the packet. Um, any questions or comments? Motion to approve the minutes. Support. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And the motion carries. So on to the business of the day. Yay. We have um, several interesting items and I look forward to hearing all about them. Our first item is for a special event at the Johnson Nature Center. Thank you. Yes, first up is a special event uh, to be held at the Johnson Nature Center on September 9th. Uh, 2023 from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. This will be the second year for this Forest to Table fundraiser event. And the applicant representative is Aaron Watson, who is present in the audience. The um, event will take place on the trails at the Nature Center. And it will be approximately um, 45 tables spread throughout the property where people can go from station to station. Uh, there are uh, provisions for um, a liquor license at the township and um, Ms. Watson is aware of that and has submitted the application for the liquor license. Restrooms will be on site at the visitor center and the as with last year the site plan for the event will we'll depict some valet parking at the, uh, there's a grass lot uh, right along Franklin Road, as well as the parking lot uh, for the Johnson Nature Center. They propose between 200 and 250 people in attendance, um, and the valet service will uh, park your cars um, in that grassy lot uh, off to the uh, south side of the property. And that, uh, I believe, is um, the recap of the event. Um, again, there will be uh, some entertainment as well as the food and drink samplings as, as people stroll throughout the Nature Center itself. And it is a fundraiser organized by the Friends of Johnson Nature Center. So. Aaron has any more. If you have any questions of me, I'm happy to. I don't know. Ms. Watson, if you want to come address the board anyway or add any additional information, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Um, I'm really happy to say that we're doing this a second year. I mean, we had such generous um, sponsors and guests that they made it wildly successful. So really what we're doing is just a repeat of last year with a little bit of add-ons. We have a new chef from Alchemy who is going to be partnering with um, Chef Godolka from Sylvan Table. Um, and then also, as Wade mentioned, um, we're increasing our capacity by 50 ticketed guests, which the grassy overlap flow will easily um, accommodate. Last year, we didn't even use the grassy overflow at all. So um, our valet was real quick to get people off the street. We never had any sort of backup. Um, it really went without a hitch there. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a fun event. I'll make sure to get you guys all invites. <laughs> um, but if you have any other questions for us, again, really, this is just a, a repeat um, with a little bit of extra from last year. So It's hard to believe it's been a year already. I know. Right? I know. <laughs> and, uh, I know it was very successful, and it's just a, a great benefit. So uh, 
thank you for everything you do for that. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't get to attend last year, but I heard it was amazing and wonderful, and so um, it's great that you're going to do it again this year. It's a great reason to have the event, too. Thank you. And I just want to add real quick that we do have letters of support from surrounding HOAs, so they are have been notified um, and are uh, supportive. Yeah. yeah, that's fabulous. It's nice to see their, your neighbors are supporting it, and, and that means it went so well last year, not just for you, but for the folks around it who didn't go. Um, exactly. And it's yeah. and you're here early, too. This is, this is really <laughs> organized. Aaron, I know that does not surprise me. I'm hard. <laughs> so it's also su super because, you know, you did it last year, and everything was, I know, you know, big, heavy lift to get it mm -hmm. done the first time, um, and you set an amazing bar which I know you'll, you'll meet or exceed this year. So congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Um, no tent though, right? No, no tents at all? So we do not currently have any vendors secured for tenting. Um, we are hoping not to need to use tents. That would be our rain plan only this year. Um, we have, we have uh, redesigned our format, uh, our layout I should say, to flip how we have are receiving people on the on the on the back end so really the forest is going to be our canopy and so hopefully that's going to be good enough um, in the event of rain that decision will need to be made the week of when we see the forecast we will be utilizing the tent that we used last year which we filed with our special event permit last year the township should have um, record of the specs on that that is a tent that the nature center owns um, but beyond that no other vendors no other tent vendors do we need to make some notation in the application about us backup plan for tents? We should, yes, yes. Just as was included on the event that should it rain. Okay. okay. Make a motion to approve as submitted with the uh, add-on of the potential tent. Support. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. All right. It'll be fabulous. Thank you. Thanks for doing it. Good luck. Okay, so uh, our next item on the agenda is regarding signs, and this is the sign for the robotic relief therapy facility going at 43207 Woodward. Yes, thank you. We're located in the B2 zone district at the um, Kingswood Plaza Shopping Center. The request, as mentioned, is for the robotic um, robotic relief therapy as you can see here you can see that there is uh, both a daytime view and a nighttime view of the sign this sign does comply with ordinance requirements uh, the sign would be required to uh, obtain a, a sign permit from the building uh, department uh, should this be favorably uh, passed through today. Um, the size of the sign is 20.4 square feet, uh, again compliant with the size of the zone district. And the logo um, in this circular area here, uh, again per Per ordinance can only be 5% of the overall sign and it is compliant uh, with, with the ordinance regulations. Uh, we worked very closely with the applicants uh, to make sure that that was in compliance. The, uh, the, the former tenant, uh, Osteo Strong, uh, was approved for a 19.2 square foot sign. Uh, also, it was compliant as well. So this is um, about a foot, square foot uh, increase in that uh, prior tenant. And um, otherwise, it would not need any kind of zoning board of appeals approval. It would just proceed to sign permit. Great. Thanks, Wade. Do we have our the permit applicants? Do you want to add anything to what was just mentioned? We welcome you to do so. It's a pretty easy one. It's right on, you know, certainly within the ordinance. I, you know, and I know that everyone appreciates that. And um, any questions? No, I know you're going to be having an open house pretty soon. Is that right with the chamber? We're not from Robotic Blue Sign Company, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, oh, okay. doing that. Okay. Great. Well, I don't have any questions. I didn't change the motion. I would make a motion to approve the sign as submitted. Support. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thanks. Nice sign. Thank you. 
Okay, welcome back. We have an item here. Um, I recall discussing a little while ago for site improvement at 1050 East Square Lake Road, the one Detroit Global Campus, um, which was tabled a little while ago, and I see they're prepared to come back. Yeah, correct. We are at uh, 1050 East Square Lake, uh, the one Detroit Global Campus. They will, were before the Design Review Board in February uh, requesting a six foot uh, metal fence along the frontage of Square Lake Road. You can see the existing conditions today. There is a wooden fence uh, along that frontage and it's being proposed to uh, be replaced with a black metal fence. Uh, as you can see here, uh, six foot decorative, uh, replacing the wooden uh, existing fence with new gates and card access. And um, one of the um, decisions made in February that uh, rendered this application tabled was that it was tabled for a, an improved landscape plan to be submitted. And the applicant uh, went back to their board and talked internally and came up with, with this landscape plan uh, for 70 arborvitae spaced three foot hole to hole. Uh, I want to clarify that in this picture you, you see all of these ornamental trees. Um, as noted at the bottom here, the, the ornamental trees are not proposed as part of this landscape plan. It's only the arborvitae. Uh, there's two or three mature ornamental trees on the site already. Those will remain, but the only thing planted or proposed for planting is, is the arborvitae at this time, um, as mentioned. So again, we can see the green here representing the arborvitae and the placement along the entire length of the, the fence as proposed. The fence location will be in the yellow right here um, in this area along East Square Lake Road. Uh, this section or this cross street is squirrel, so their property does incorporate this entire area. This red indicates an existing chain link fence that's already there, um, completely. Uh, screened from public view by existing landscaping. Um, there are uh, some proposals for um, some new chain link fence uh, in this area that's also part of the request and you can see that in this diagram below. <laughs> So again, the pink is the new six foot metal, and then there's a new chain link right here in, or I'm sorry, the, the metal fence in pink, and then the chain link in yellow here. Uh, again, Squirrel Road runs to the left of the page, uh, which would be to the south. So it's uh, approximately uh, 450 foot of metal uh, black fence with the arborvitae and the approximately 150 feet of chain link uh, in the area to the south of the main building. This being a six foot fence does require Zoning Board of Appeals approval and the applicant has uh, already made application for hearing um, pending the decision today. And with that, um, I would be happy to answer any questions or um, invite the applicant to come up to add any more comments. Please join us if you have anything else to add or <coughs> welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, no thanks. I think Wade did a good job of explaining what we're looking at here. I know obviously we were before you guys before uh, we went back and obviously took into consideration what was proposed with the arbor bites and trying to shield as much of the fence as we can um, from public view. So on this um, piece as well here, um, what it does show case is that for a portion of the established tree line along the front of the property as well, you'll see the fence does zig a bit back behind that, um, right over where the yellow ends. So the yellow essentially indicates the arborvitae tree line, um, and then the established um, tree and shrub line, which you can see in some of the other photos of the existing site, um, will shield the fence from public view as well. Um, which is similar to how it is on the Squirrel Road boundary. Um, 
So yeah, we're doing it obviously for the safety and security, improving that. We're trying to um, implement a card access for all of the visitors to the school with our reception, um, and then obviously trying to make it look as nice as possible um, for the public view. So I don't know if you guys have any questions for me. Thanks, Wade, for putting that forward. Any questions? No comments. So it's an improvement, it's a nice plan. I have one question, uh, just about the height of the arborvitaes. I think that the requirements that the ZBA will ask is that they match the height of the fence. That's okay. the, right. the drawing shows them a little short of the fence. I'm not sure what, you know, so they'll need to be, they'll end up needing to be six foot arborvitaes. For plant? Yes. Like, yeah. Okay. At All the right. time Very of planting. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wasn't sure of that. So I know there's varying heights of the arborvitaes. You can obviously purchase and install, and obviously they all grow, but um, they can be trimmed as well. So. Yeah, great. I think that that was my only thought about that. Yeah, in the one drawing, they look really short. Yeah, <laughs> they look more like bushes than arborvitaes. It says arborvitaes. I'm like, mm, those look more like, you know. Yeah, an extra tall fence requires extra tall arborvitaes. Yep. <laughs> it's a it's a nice looking fence though. We have a similar fence um, at our beach, and it, it's a an upgrade to what we had had as well. So I think it'll look nice. Very good. Make a motion to approve as uh, presented with the caveat that the uh, arborvitaes are the same height as the, uh, the fence. So once they're planted, they're, they are the same height. And we'll forward to the ZBA, I think. Is that where That's it's what I meant, yep. ZBA. Support. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No one opposed. Uh, motion right. carries. Thank you very much. Okay, and so, uh, Wade, is there anything else under general business? Uh, we do not have any recent approvals, and uh, next meeting would be uh, June 21st. Great. Well, usually I make a motion to adjourn, but... <laughs> I will make a motion to adjourn. Support. Support. Great. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. We're adjourned. Fine Thank job. you. Thank you.